hi guys welcome to today's vlog it's simply a motivational cleaning video i've been thinking of doing this video for the longest time and let me show you how my house looks like <laughs> guys that's the kitchen the only thing that i did is woke up had my breakfast and did nothing i only stripped my bed I don't know if you can see my bed is at least so this house is really messy I don't know where to start so guys let's do this they said, don't fall don't forget all the things you've been taught you so guys to start off I'm starting off with the bedroom area I'm going to remove all the bed sheets the pillowcases my mosquito net and even the window curtains i'm going to remove everything so that i can wash them the reason as to why i'm doing this video is because as you all know it's rainy season i wanted to set myself the season and at least we got the rains it got rid of the dust and obviously the curtains are so dusty the windows and the doors are so dusty so i wanted to clean everything and set myself for the season <laughs> I'm also going to remove the towel that I was currently using so that I can wash it also. Before you go to sleep, keep up, I shine. You surely get burned if you reach out and touch. My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it. Getting these voices inside to stay quiet. Under the place where all this began. Onto the sitting area, I'm going to remove all the cover covers on my couch and the covers on my pillow so that I can also clean them. <laughs> So this is all the load that I had to clean that day and I also had some dirty clothes so I decided to just clean everything and what I'm going to do is soak everything for about 2 or 5 minutes before I start cleaning them.
So guys, the clothes were really a lot. I was unable to film everything. As you all know, cleaning clothes is a lot of work. And so on this day, what I only did was wash these clothes and then rest. Because by the time I was done with this, I was really tired. And this was the, in the evening. The clothes had dried up. So I had to unhang them and continue my video on the next day. So on the next day, this is me making breakfast. I wanted some pancakes. As you all know, I also needed some energy to do all that cleaning. So I just made some pancakes, had my breakfast, and then continued with the rest. Another advice to you guys, if you have to do um, cleaning on your homes, on your spaces, kindly don't overwork yourself. Like for me, I spent two days cleaning this house because I knew what I wanted to achieve. And when you are tired, you won't achieve the best results. But when you are doing the work bit by bit, relaxing, giving yourself time to relax, it gives you when you're doing the cleaning it gives you the best results and also have um while doing your cleaning have some meals so that they can provide the energy that you require to do the cleaning so guys this was the current situation of the house the next day and trust me after this video you'll see the beautiful transformation of this house we are going to transform everything also my sister had visited me and brought me some bananas and some maize i like um some space to store these things but we are going to sort out that on this video the bathroom was so messy i hadn't cleaned it in like two days and also I had some pumpkins and my avocados under my TV table. So we are going to declutter this space also and arrange everything nicely. Go to my bed, I'm going to wipe it down using um, a mixture of water and some downy i'm going to wipe it down because of the dust before i put on my clean bed sheets same case to my window i'm going to wipe it down and trust me this window was so dusty i don't know why it's because i like opening the window during the day that's why all the dust was just coming in but let's wipe it down so that it can be clean we must never stop the way yeah. So after wiping down everything, I'm going to, first of all, I'll return the window curtains. They are clean by the way and they are so fresh before I return my, before I strip my bed here. Yeah. Come, 
The birds have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young Onto my bed, I'm first going to put on my mosquito net then I'll put my pillows, their covers, and then I'll finally strip the bed. everything was fresh and clean and I know guys you can't wait to see how the other spaces will turn out so stay tuned so moving on to the table room area <laughs> I live on a bed sitter and I have a table room area anyway moving on to my bed my sitting area I'm first going to dust my couch I'll dust it to eliminate any dust. Actually, Hayezi Kosa dust. So I'm going to dust it before I return on its covers.
for my TV table, what I'm going to do is dust everything down. And then guys, I'm going to return it kakitamba, the white one. The reason as to why I put that white kakitamba is because I really don't like the color of the table. Anyway, that's my opinion. But if you have <laughs> such a table, you can just leave it like that. But I like it when it has that kakitamba. It looks more presentable. So I'll go, I'm going to wipe down everything um my tv my hufa everything and then i'll put on that kakitamba you are you are cause you're in my head cause you're in my i don't wanna let you go i don't wanna let you go tell me what you want to know and your fingers down me so cause you're in my head you are you are cause you're in my head So for my bananas, I'm going to remove them from the gunia and then I'll put them on this green basin so that because others are ripening and I didn't want to rip them to ripen all of them because I wanted to cook them. And actually I thought of um, cooking them on today's dinner. So I'm going to remove them and then put them back on my TV stand down there because really this house has no enough storage please don't judge me but at least I arranged everything and the space looked neat <laughs> So guys, on my sink area, I'm going first to wash my countertop, not my counter, my sink tiles on the side before I start cleaning my utensils and I'm using the Safi and my Morning Fresh. I'll clean everything, also my dish rack before I start to clean the utensils. The utensils were a lot because I, didn't, I did not clean last day's utensils since i was tired from washing all those clothes that you saw so i decided let me clean all the utensils today and that's what we are going to do so enjoy the music
to sleep Keep up, I shine You surely get burned if you reach out and touch My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Only the place where all this began After cleaning the utensils, I'm going to clean my gas lid and also wipe down my gas and the wall next to it. <laughs> To clean my countertops, I'm using the Morning Fresh and the Bleach Lemon Fresh Msafi that removes stains and also kills germs. And as I said guys earlier, kindly make sure while doing this work you have relaxed enough so that you can tackle at least every area and also to the sink. Baby girl, come on, just scrub that sink. That can be clean. I know you can do this, guys. Be motivated to clean your spaces and you'll be pleased to have and work on a clean space. I'm also going to return my kitchen curtains and also my door curtains. Empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am blind And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home oh, oh, oh. The last space that I'm going to tackle is my bathroom area It was so messy, I told you that I hadn't cleaned it in two days and I'm first going to wipe my pantry, my bathroom pantry, let me call it like that. Or no, let me call it my bathroom shelf. I'm going to wipe it down and arrange everything there. I'm also going to clean my toilet and I'm using the Vim washer. I'll first splash it on my toilet and let it sit for about 5 minutes as I clean my other areas. So guys, whatever I'm spraying on my walls is simply a mixture of water and some jig and um, detto, but my detto was done. So that's a mixture that I'm spraying on my walls so that at least it can, it can sit for two minutes, then I'll clean the walls. So be
Lastly, I'm going to mop the floors and then I'll be done with my cleaning. After doing this, guys, it feels so nice to have a clean space, to work on a clean space, to live on a fresh space. And I'll show you how everything turned out. We must merely make a start. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. so guys this is the house after i returned all the mats this house was so clean trust me this house was so fresh guys so guys i hope that you'll get motivated to clean your spaces you'll be even be happy to stay on a clean space so this is how everything turned out <laughs>
the beneath the bed before you go to sleep Keep up, I shine You surely get burned if you reach out and touch My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Born to the place where all this began So by the time I was done with the cleaning, it was already in the evening and I decided let me just do a simple skincare routine and um, I'm first going to scrub my face. I noticed that my face has been breaking out because of ignorance. Actually, you have to be consistent on doing a skincare routine. Oh god, my face had really bricked out. So I'm going to first scrub my face. I'm scrubbing so that I can remove the dead skin. And by the way, somebody asked me if apricot scrub can be used by men. The answer is yes. It is you can use it either the female and the male gender. You can use the apricot scrub. It's not it has no any bleaching effect or any itching effect. So, if you're a man, if you're a woman, even a child can use the apricot scrub. It's, it doesn't have bad um, side effects. So, after scrubbing, I'm going to wash everything and then dry my face with a clean face towel. so next i'm going to deep cleanse my face using the baobab soap it is a black soap for oily skin but it it has three categories there's that one for oily skin there's another one for all types skin or sensitive skin and there is another one for for dry skin but for me my face is so oily so i'm going to wet it and apply it on my face and then massage it on my face by the way i would highly recommend this soap because i had used it before and it is effective it has effective results so guys if you have um, a face like mine that is oily or has um, those small rashes you can use this soap it is nice and it goes for 520 shillings it's a bit expensive i know but trust me it will like this one it will last me for like two months or so and it's so effective and you can find it on best lady shop go there and you'll find the soap so after cleansing i'll just wash it off but then you can let it rest for like five minutes so that it can enter into your skin and then rinse it with some warm water
I'm going in with my Skin Touch Hydroxy Mask. It's a mask. It's a mask that you peel off after your after it has dried when applied on your face. And by the way, I don't know if I can recommend for this mask, but um, the, that process of peeling off it's a bit uh, not recommendable because it's painful. But still, you can have the option of, after it has dried, you can wash it off. But they see that you peel it off. So I don't know if I'm going to buy another mask other than um, peeling it off. But we shall see about that. So uh, as it, it is drying on my face, I'm going to brush my teeth. <laughs> Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane as usual, it's the apricot scrub. Then on my body, I've changed to Milele bathing soap. It smells nice and it's also nice. And then later, I'll clean my face with um, turmeric soap. And that's it. <laughs> So guys, for dinner, I'm simply making, in my language, you call it um, getuero, but it's simply a mixture of banana and ripe bananas, some potatoes, and also you can add some pumpkins and everything that I'll use to cook the spices. Um, going to put them on it on the screen for you to see so that you can try the recipe so enjoy the music Don't blink, don't run, don't 
turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Gone to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dark So this is a nice African food. It's really, really delicious. So guys, please try out the recipe. You'll love it. And I'm going to have this with an avocado. So guys, dinner is ready. I'm going to enjoy this while I relax myself watching a movie and then I'll retire to my bed. So guys, I think this was it for this vlog. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for returning to this channel. I really love you all. And guys, please, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down below on Frida K channel. 
and guys we are almost at 500 subscribers so thank you so much and i will talk to you on my next video Stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly